Hello friends, this is Manoj Vaprani. I welcome you all on behalf of the Edupedia world. Guys, by now we have already covered more than 95% of the topics relating to the chapter Bond Valuation. The chapter is at its last stage of completion. This is the last video presentation relating to the topics of Bond Valuation. In our next video presentation, we will be covering the questions which have already been asked in the CE final examination in the past few years. So I do believe that you guys are enjoying your day and certainly you guys are revising your topics time and again because revision is the key to success in CA final. Yes guys, perfect. So we'll mark the beginning of this video with today's topic and that is yield curves. So primarily guys, there are three main patterns which have been created by the term structure of interest rates and those three yield curves are nominal yields, flat yield curve and interest yield curve. So we'll be talking about all these three yield curves, normal, normal, flat and inverted one after the another. So we'll start with normal yield curve first. What does normal yield curve means? So that this, this is the picture as to how a normal yield curve looks. It's simple, it's flowing up. So the explanation involved with this particular yield curve is Normal yield curve is the yield curve that shapes the forms during normal market conditions. Investors expect a higher yield for fixed income security with long term maturities that occurs further into the future. In other words, the market expects long term fixed income securities to offer higher yields than short term fixed income securities. This is normal expectation of the market as short-term instruments generally hold less risk as compared to the long-term instruments. So guys, the name itself suggests as to like, this is the yield curve that shapes the forms during normal market conditions. What kind of normal market conditions are prevailing in the market and thereby the investors generally believe that there will be no significant changes in the economy such as inflation rates and the economy will continue to grow at a normal rate. This is how this normal yield curve works. So now let's move on to the next one and that comes into the picture flat yield curve. What does flat yield curve mean? This is first how a flat yield curve looks a confused state of mind whether the market rates are going to incline or they are going to decrease or decline for that matter. So the explanation involved in this flat yield curve would be flat yield curves indicate that the market environment is sending mixed signals to investors. During such an environment, it is difficult for the market to define whether the interest rates will move significantly in either direction further into the future, as somehow it is not easy to predict whether the rates are going to fall or the rates are going to rise. A flat yield curve usually occurs when the market is making a transition that emits different but simultaneous indications of what the interest rates will do. In other words, there may be many signals that the short term interest rates will rise and other signals that the long term interest rates will fall. This condition will create a curve that is flatter than its normal positive slope. When a yield curve is flat. The investors can maximize their risk return trade-off by choosing fixed income securities with least risk or highest credit quality. In the rare instances where in the long-term interest rates decline, a flat curve can sometimes lead to an inverted one. So guys, that was flat yield curve. So what is an inverted curve? Inverted yield curve. This is how it looks sloping downwards by the time maturity and a time lapses. So the explanation involved in inverted yield curve is inverted yield curves are rare and they form only during extraordinary markets conditions wherein the expectation of investors are completely the inverse of those demonstrated by the normal yield curve. It is exactly different to what normal yield curve says. In such an abnormal market environments, bonds with maturity dates further into the future are expected to offer lower yields than the bonds with 
shorter maturities. As interest rates decrease, the bond prices increase and yields decline. So guys, we can say that in such kind of markets, the inverted yield curve basically indicates that market currently expects that interest rates should decline as the time moves further into the future, which in turn means the market expects yields of long-term bonds to decline. That is why it is called that when the interest rates decrease, the bond prices increase and the yields decline. Actually, one would wonder why the investors would choose to purchase long-term fixed income securities where there is an inverted yield curve, which indicates that the investors expect to receive less compensation for taking more risk. Some investors, however, would interpret an inverted curve as an indication that the economy will soon experience a slowdown, which causes future interest rates to give even lower yields. Before a slowdown, it is better to lock your money into the long-term investments at present prevailing yields because further yields will be even more. So guys, that was all about those three yield curves. normal flat and inverted. Normal says that somehow the market is going to stable, market will remain stable and it will grow with time and economy. So there is no such kind of possibility of any kind of problem with normal. Flat one says it's a confused state of economy, whether the interest will rise or fall, that is unaware about it at all. And inverted says it's an absolutely abnormal kind of market. The bond prices can fall at any of the time and certainly the yields will decline and interest rate will decline accordingly. So those were the three bond curves, yield curves basically. So now let's move on to the next topic of today and that is immunization. In a layman term, what I can say about immunization, it's simply prediction of your portfolio against any kind of interest rate risk prevailing in the market. You are just concerned about protecting your portfolios. So that is how immunization works. Immunization means protection of a bond portfolio from any kind of damage, loss and value due to fluctuations in the market interest rates. Immunization is a strategy of protecting the portfolio against any kind of interest rate risks. It involves offsetting the two components of interest rate risk, price risk and reinvestment risk, which moves in opposite direction. Duration is the basis of immunization theory. Guys, by now we have already seen that the interest rate changes have opposite effects on the bond price as well as on reinvestment opportunities. When an interest in rate increases, it hurts the bond price and it helps, but, it, but certainly it helps the bond's reinvestment rate. Duration as a measure of interest rate risk, which is used by banks, institutions, insurance companies, mutual fund managers to measure and assess the interest rate risk exposure and then manage out and eliminate those kind of interest rate exposure risks. Immunization in such a case means that the production of bond will be taken care of from any kind of damage due to fluctuations in the market interest rates. When we talk about the individual portfolios, the technique of immunization seeks to ensure that there is a set of sum of money that will be available at the specific point in the future. And we all know that after purchase of bonds, if in certain case, the interest rate rise, while our investment reinvestment income tend to rise, the bond prices decreases. We witness an exactly opposite situation. When the interest rate falls at that point, the effects of interest rate risk and reinvestment risk cancel out each other exactly. At this point, we can say that the portfolio is immunized against the change in interest rates or we can say that the portfolio is protected against any kind of interest rate risk. When we buy, let's suppose in an example, when we buy a bond with a specific duration, let's say five years, irrespective of the rate of hike or fall, the value received on the bond proceeds, which includes coupon plus reinvestment income plus the bond price after the five years do not change. This is certainly because at this point, the interest increase in reinvestment income and decrease in the bond price or we, should, we can say that the vice versa way. The decrease in reinvestment income and increase in bond price can match exactly. So that is how immunization particularly works. 
when we talk about immunization it involves asset liability management and when we talk about a mismatch between duration of assets and duration of liabilities in this case the institution is exposed to interest rate risk on its balance sheet or some subset of its balance sheet matching the duration of assets the duration of liability results in immunization immunization is an investment strategy that tries to bridge the mismatch which has been explained by me in the last slides by acquiring those securities whose duration equals the length of the investor's planned holding period. Maintaining an immunized portfolio means rebalancing the portfolio's average duration every time interest rate changes so that the average duration continues to be equal to the investor's time horizon. So guys, the most common way to immunize a bone portfolio is using a combination strategy. In combination matching, the portfolio not only matches its duration to the time horizon, but also its cash flows to its liabilities. So guys, that was all about the topic immunization. You just need to stick to the basic relevant conceptual clarity with the topic and you'll score. Now let's move on to the subset of this topic, which is called bullet immunization. Immunization particularly deals with individual securities but bullet immunization talks about it is one such method which helps in reducing the interest rate risk which is associated with an independent portfolios it seeks to ensure that a certain set of money will be available at a specific point in the future just like immunization it aims at cancelling the effects of interest rate risk and reinvestment rate risk proper immunization ensures that the rupee effects of these two risks net to zero. So that was bullet immunization, which is being treated as a subset of immunization strategy. Now, it has been quoted time and again, with every advantage comes disadvantages into the picture. Immunization does help you in protection of funds or against any kind of market interest risk, but it do has some disadvantage of its own as well. So let's discuss those disadvantages of immunizing. The first one comes in the picture, opportunity cost of being wrong. So guys, investment strategies are based out on certain assumptions about future direction of interest rates. Or they may simply be based on the assumption that the future rates will be volatile. If the market is efficient, forecasting changes in interest rates is very difficult. With an incorrect forecast, immunized portfolios can suffer a heavy opportunity loss. So guys, that is the opportunity cost which is involved in being wrong, being calculating wrong. Second comes into the picture, lower yield. The immunization usually results in lower level of income generated by the funds under management. The typical yield curve is upward sloping. This means that everything being equal, the longer the term of the fixed income security, the longer is its yield. By reducing the duration, the characteristics of the fund will shift to the left of the yield curve, normally resulting in a lower level of income for the fund beneficiary. It is fundamental of finance that lower risk means lower expected return. This principle holds for immunization strategies as well as any kind of other investment strategies and activities. Third comes into the picture, transaction cost. Immunization in itself is not at all a costless activity. Selling certain bonds and buying others requires some kind of payment in terms of brokerage and commission. You'll have to pay the brokerage or commission to the investment companies who are making or purchasing bonds or selling out the bonds on your behalf. You have to take care of these transaction costs as well. Last comes into the picture. Immunization is instantaneous, instantaneous basically. So a bone portfolio theoretically is immunized only for an instant. With each day that passes, the duration change and yield to maturity change accordingly with the market interest rate changes. The effects of convexity manifest themselves as an increasing level of error between what we expect to happen and what actually happens. Unless we periodically readjust the portfolio. And certainly guys, that is not practical for any but the largest portfolios to make daily adjustment to account for those changing immunization needs. Smaller portfolios may be initially immunized and revised only after weeks have been passed. 
or when the conditions have those kind of changes which make them enough for revision cost effective so guys that was all about the disadvantages which are being involved with the process of immunization i hope you got the entire clarity of these two topics which have been covered in today's presentation that is yield curve immunization and bullet immunization and their disadvantages i'll be concluding this video with a dose of motivation and that is every artist was once an amateur so like every ca was once an article you'll have to grill yourself deep down in order to shine like a gem shine like a diamond you'll have to start out your day perfect for that matter you'll have to take some actions in order to transform your life from an amateur to a professional and that is going to take time but surely with time and experience you will nurture your abilities to perform the best for yourself and for the entire society keep that in mind guys you are born to succeed and nobody is going to tether you or your aspirations for that matter with this i would like to share thank you on behalf of the edupedia world guys keep interacting via your questions queries in the comment boxes that will help us to interact with you guys better and certainly that will help us in knowing your needs very well that will help us in letting us stay connected love you guys take care have a nice day bye we'll be meeting you with our next forthcoming presentation on questions being asked and see final examination bye take care guys